Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be using these acrylic paint markers here to customize a skateboard. This is something that I have been wanting to do for so long now and I finally bit the bullet and decided that I was going to do it. And to help me do it, I actually have these lovely Artistro paint pens here. So this is the skateboard deck that I'm actually going to be customizing today. I bought it from Eckersley's on Online, obviously because I can't go into shops anywhere because we're in lockdown at the moment <laughs> but this is the skateboard deck and I believe it is a jazz art brand and I can't remember how much it was I think it was around $50 or something but yeah we are going to add a layer of gesso on here I'm using this gesso here to prime the surface so we have a lovely texture on which we can draw on and eventually paint on with the pens so here it is all primed and ready. I believe I did about three or four coats and it is looking pretty nice. So now I'm grabbing my uh, mechanical pencil and I am going to be sketching my design as you can see on here. Now, obviously, uh, what am I going to paint on here? You guessed it, Pokemon. <laughs> I'm so typical with that. I just I had to do a crazy Pokemon artwork all over this skateboard because I just think that it would look so cool to have like a lot of Pokemon just crammed into this one little illustration or rather large skateboard sized illustration and try and cram as many Pokemon in here as I can to make it look really busy and exciting and colorful looking and uh, use a lot of colors so I can test out these pens as much as I can and uh, see what kind of colors that we have. So as you can see, I have drawn quite a lot of Pokemon already, but we're not done <laughs> yet. And uh, we have Munchlax, we have Pumpkaboo. I'm drawing a little Chimcha here. Uh, as you can see there's also a Sandy Ghast, there is a Zeb Striker which I absolutely love, Corfish, Spinda, there is Litwick and um, Flareon and a whole lot of Pokemon, a little tiny Sinistee in there and uh, you name it, there's just so many. I, I don't know, I had to sort of think about what kind of Pokemon I wanted to add on here because I didn't want to just stick with the typical ones that I like the most. I wanted to try and draw some like maybe slightly lesser known Pokemon like Cinchino as you can see here which is super cute. I love Cinchino, such a cute little Pokemon. So now that we have most of the designs here, I am starting off with the background. Now at first I kind of wanted to do a drawing where there was no background. It was just so many Pokemon layered all over the top of each other so that there was no, you know, uh, negative space. But I actually decided against that because honestly that would have taken a lot longer and this project already took way longer than I expected but also I don't mind having a background color because um, I don't know it just helps the Pokemon stand out a little bit more and I decided on using purple as the background because most of the Pokemon that I had decided to draw on here didn't have purple and also purple is one of my favorite colors as well so that helped that decision. <laughs> So now that we have most of the background done, I'm going in with the Pokemon and for the coloring style, I'm going to try and keep it nice and simple because we do have quite a lot of Pokemon on here and we have a slightly limited number of colors. Well, limited for me anyways, because I use so many different colors in my artworks, but we have 30 uh, thick pens here to color with, but we also have 42 um, thin pens. So those are the amount of colors that we are going to be working with and so I decided not to do too much shading or anything like that. Try and just keep it like nice um, bright vivid block colors because that is something that these pens do really well with as is. And as you can see it's starting to come together really well. Now a few times I did actually do a slight cheat as you can see here with this Marip. I actually mixed a few colors and to do that I basically just uh, deposited some of the ink from the pens onto where I was going to paint and then I sort of mixed it with a paintbrush. And that's a really good idea if you need to change 
change uh, some of the colors very like slightly because they are definitely mixable and if you want you can blend with them if you're using a paintbrush and yeah I just I decided to try that out and it worked pretty well So these paint pens that I'm using today, the brand is Artistro and I was actually lucky enough to be sent these by Artistro themselves. I did a video for them a little while ago and that one was super fun to do but now I am uh, you know, testing these out a little bit more and trying to push the limits a little bit with what I can make with them. I honestly really like these pens and I think that they are pretty much on par with the Posca pens that you can get. The only real issue I have with these pens is the fact that you have to shake them up quite a bit while you are using them because the ink can sometimes separate a bit in the pen and you can see because it's sort of see-through so I sometimes feel like I, I'm getting a bit of an arm workout while constantly shaking these pens it's just something to keep in mind obviously um, these are really great for the price though and I only wish that they would have uh, more variants in sizes I would love to have some really thick pens like you can get with the Posca pens you can get these like really thick chunky ones that you can use to cover large areas I would love to see that kind of thing in the future but overall I really do love using these they are super fun the colors are nice and vibrant and uh, when you shake the pen up enough <laughs> um, they, the ink comes out really nice and smooth as well so if you want to try them out yourself I am going to leave a link in the description for where you can get them you can get them on their website but also on Amazon if that's your thing and if you've tried them out yourself please comment below and let me know what you think of them because I just I love talking about art supplies with people it's uh it's something that I I, I love to talk about all the time and uh, sometimes I won't shut up about it because art supplies are awesome and uh yeah just ask my boyfriend I constantly talk about them to him honestly I think it's a little bit of an addiction <laughs> So anyways, back to the art. As you can see, I've got most of the colors down now and I am going in with my fine tip. Uh, I think it's the act actually the extra fine tip and I am adding in line art for these Pokemon and this is where a lot of the details come to life. It's interesting because a lot of the time when I draw, I have to do the line art first and then color it. And I do that a lot when I'm using like uh, markers or you know watercolor paint or pencils or anything like that but because these are opaque you have to do the line art if you're gonna do line art at the end and I feel like that sort of changes my art style a little bit because I don't know exactly where I'm going to put the line art until at the end when I'm you know adding in the line art so sometimes like slight details will change very slightly once they are finished but honestly I really like that and I have a lot of fun changing up the way that I paint things uh, you know when I'm changing up my art supplies I'm using and I just love the way that the art just comes to life once you add in that line art and I especially love that little Sinchino which is the little gray creature in the middle that you can see there I just think that it turned out so cute with its little paw and its little face and I just I love the way the details look in that one specifically just because I don't know I just really like it <laughs> it's cute now a few of them I had to sort of constantly change I did struggle a few times you know trying to get these pens to do what I wanted mainly because I find you know drawing with paint pens fine details a little bit difficult because um, I don't know I feel like drawing with pencils it's a little bit more forgiving <laughs> but the great thing about these is that they are opaque so if you do any mistakes or anything like that you can easily just cover it up once it's dry with more paint and uh, keep trying until you've got the details that you like and that's what I did <laughs> it was basically you know a, my process of just trying to fix things until they look good and that's how you art folks Now I gotta say, this artwork took me quite a while to finish. <laughs> I actually ended up with about 14 hours of footage if I'm guessing correctly. Let me check how many gigabytes that actually was. 174 gigabytes of footage 
before I edited it and that's quite a lot compared to normal so that's actually why this video uh, took a little bit longer to finish than usual if you realize I haven't posted a video in like a week that's why <laughs> But honestly, I think it was definitely worth it because I just love the results of this artwork. And as you can see later, I actually painted the other side of the skateboard as well. I decided I wanted to paint both sides because I just want to fully customize this skateboard. And uh, I know it's probably not going to be ridden like ever because I would be too scared of ruining the art. So this is like an art piece more than a skateboard. But if you did want to ride a skateboard that you customized yourself, you can actually get this like cool clear grip stuff that um, I forget what it's called, but I'll leave a link in that in the description if you want to have a look at that as well. And I'm actually so glad that I was able to do another one of these Pokemon drawings because a little while ago, this is what I would draw mostly. I would do like a lot of Pokemon on a page and it would be like a super detailed Pokemon artwork and I just love doing art in that style it does take quite a lot longer than usual but it is definitely worth it because art like this makes me happy so now it's time to try out the other side of the skateboard because as I said earlier I'm customizing both sides and I actually decided to put a layer of acrylic paint down first just because one I wanted to test out how these pens do over the top of a different art supply like acrylic paint but also it would just save me a bit of time painting in the background and because I'm doing black <laughs> it's actually saving me the black acrylic paint pen because if I colored in this whole background uh, this whole board this side of the board with uh, one pen I would probably run out of the black pen and uh, that would be sad but obviously I still wanted to have this side of the board be Pokemon themed because it's completely Pokemon themed skateboard <laughs> and actually decided to do a bunch of different Pokeballs if you're not too into Pokemon that's okay I will explain it Pokeballs are basically the, these things that you use to capture the Pokemon which are the creatures and you can actually get a whole lot of different designs of Pokeballs that do you know slightly different things and I decided to go with uh, a bunch of them. I believe the Pokeballs that I decided to go with were obviously a regular Pokeball, Ultra Ball, uh, Great Ball, Master Ball but we also have a Dream Ball, a Beast Ball, a Premier Ball, a Safari Ball, and also a Lua Ball. And last but not least, a Luxury Ball because I just love the design of the Luxury Balls. I just think that they look so cool. So to get the perfect round shape, as you could see that I did earlier, I actually traced around uh, one of my mugs. <laughs> and that was just to make sure that all of the Pokeballs were the exact same uh, shape and size. And because I'm very terrible at drawing circles honestly I can't get them perfect so yeah I drew around it with a white pen and that's because you know the the background is black so you're not going to see black outlines unless there is a white outline around that <laughs> and when I drew the pokeballs inside the circles I sort of tried my best to leave a black outline around the pokeballs uh, that was inside the white outline if that makes sense i'm probably explaining it terribly but good thing you're watching a video so you can actually see what i'm doing <laughs> now i did have to actually end up fixing uh the black lines but that was fine because the black paint pens work really well on the black surface and you can barely tell that i've had to fix them up now these pens actually did work really well on the black background. These pens are quite opaque and I did have to do a few layers with a few colors just to make sure it was nice and bright and vibrant. I'm looking at you red marker pen <laughs> but I really like the way that the colors pop off the black. They look nice and bright and colorful and uh, yeah I really really love the look as well. I just think it looks so cool. They almost look like stickers stuck on. Uh, the skateboard but they are indeed painted because you watched me paint them and just like before last but not least we have the outlines that I am drawing after I do all of the coloring now I'm not sure which one of these pokeballs is actually my favorite because I do really like all of the ones that I've drawn here with the luxury ball I wish the gray was just a little bit darker but I was kind of limited with the grays that I had 
so that's okay still looks like a luxury ball and after I was done them I decided to add in some uh, circles just to fill in the gaps and honestly I really like how it looks it kind of looks like bubbles or little circles behind them I don't know but it definitely helps and uh, now last but not least we have these skateboard wheels which I am going to add to the skateboard here so it's actually a skateboard not just a skateboard deck isn't that cool all I have to do now is secure these to the deck and then we are done now if you're going to do this yourself I probably recommend uh, adding a coat of varnish or something to seal the paint so that it is protected but honestly I'm probably not going to use this skateboard at all so I think it's okay that there's no grip tape or anything like that So here is the final results and honestly I love this so much. I had so much fun painting all of the little Pokemon on it and I just think that the colors look really nice and it turned out really cool. I am actually surprised by how well I did this if I say so myself. And I just want to say thank you to Artistro for sending me these pens. I love using them. I love the colors. I definitely recommend them if you want to try out some paint pens. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. It really helps me out. And comment below what you think of this artwork and the Pokemon that I painted on it. And if you were going to um, customize a skateboard yourself, what would you paint on it? I'd love to hear what you have to say. Hope you're all having a lovely day. Please stay safe out there. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye everyone.